Okay, so this is number 44 on the worksheet. I am trying to find where cotangent is negative radical three and secant is two radical three over three. So once again, just like I did on the last problem that I did not film, I forgot to hit record. You're supposed to know these things right here. This is an R up here. This is going to be cotangent. All right, you're supposed to know this stuff right here. So secant, if you look at secant, it is dealing with, secant is dealing with x. Cotangent is x over y. So I got to use that information because this is telling me this x over y, this tells me that x over y is going to be a negative because of that negative. This secant is x, so this tells me x is going to be a positive. So whatever this x is, this x here has to be the same as that x. So I got to ask myself, a positive over a what will give me a negative. Does anybody know a positive divided by what gives me a negative? I'm getting nothing. Anybody know? Po what can, positive divided by what kind of number gives me a negative? negative? That's right, a negative. So this means y is negative. So because this says x is positive and y is negative, I know that this triangle is in the fourth quadrant because in the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. I get that from this. Now I know cotangent is negative radical three over one. So I'm going to make this negative radical three. Oops, sorry, x is, x is negative radical three. So this is negative radical three and y is one because this is over one. Now we got a little problem here. Is that the right sign for the radical three in that quadrant? And the answer is no, but I know it's got to be this quadrant. So what has to happen is I need to take that, ne that negative from up top and I need to move it down here. And this is negative in this quadrant and this is positive. So this is kind of a tricky one, because, but we have to know that this says X is positive. So this has to be positive and the Y has got to be the negative. So we have to move the negative from up here with this, down here with the y value. So that's hard stuff. And then I should know that if you got radical three and one, the hypotenuse is two, because those always go together. The side opposite of one is 30, so that's a 30 degree angle, this is 60. You don't even have to put that one because the alpha is always this one. So my alpha is 30. Now I gotta figure out what theta is. So theta is going from here all the way around to there. So when you take 360 minus that angle. So this is 330 degrees here. And I'm going to put these in. And I actually probably should have written these down first. Because these are the ones that students make a mistake on. And they don't write down the given stuff right away. So hopefully you're going to write down what they gave you. So this is negative radical three. Uh, secant, this one is two radical three over three. Now you have some options here. You can just take this thing and flip it upside down and rationalize it. And this is the right answer here. Or you can go back to your unit circle and do tangent is negative one over radical three and then rationalize it and you get the same answer. Okay, again, I could take this and flip it upside down and get this answer. I'll show you how that would work. You put three on top and then you put the two radical three down. You move the radical three up to the top and you take the three out on the bottom and hopefully you see these two reduce. So you end up with a radical three over two or you can look right here and do adjacent over hypotenuse and you get radical three over two from Sokotoa. And then sine is opposite over adjacent, so this should be negative one over two. 
and you flip that upside down and that one's negative two. Pretty hard stuff. Anybody else got any? Anybody else got any questions on anything? 